These are some of the scenes now circulating on the internet of distressed children apparently suffering the after effects of a chemical attack. Some of the video footage is too distressing to broadcast and it is but there are scores of dead, among them very young children. Opposition groups say poisonous gas was used as part of a big rocket and artillery attack which killed more than a thousand people. The bombardment took place earlier today in the suburb of Ghouta in the east of the Syrian capital Damascus. And this is not the first time that the uh, regime is using chemical weapons, but it represents a tangible change of the regime because it is happening because the killers are well, insecure and this crime is for cleansing and analyzation, not just to s spread fear. This amateur video, again unverified, appears to show men being treated in a hospital. What's striking is the lack of external injuries, a possible sign of a chemical attack. Syrian government and opposition groups have repeatedly accused each other of chemical warfare. Today the army denied any involvement. The general command of the armed forces would like to stress that these allegations are totally false and baseless and that such claims fall within the context of the dirty media war against Syria. The general command will go on confronting terrorism wherever it may come from, out of its duty to protect the country and its citizens. UN weapons inspectors arrived in Damascus at the weekend. They're there to investigate earlier claims that chemical weapons were used. They're now calling on the Syrian regime to allow the inspectors to widen their inquiry so that it includes today's attack. If verified, this would be a shocking escalation of the use of chemical weapons in Syria. Uh, we are determined the people responsible will one day be held to account. Uh, I hope it will be made clear that the UN team now in Damascus will have unrestricted access to the area concerned and the United Kingdom will be raising this at the United Nations Security Council. Syria is one of the largest stockpiles of chemical weapons. These scenes will add to the suspicions that the regime is prepared to use them against its own people.